What's going on everyone, it's Gadgets Boy, welcome to another video and we're here at Goodwood for the Festival of Speed but most people come here for the fast cars and all the fancy cars that turns up here and you know the track time and all that stuff but we're actually here for the tech, there's so much to see, all the future tech here is amazing. I was here uh, the last time the last time we were able to be here um, as you know and I saw some amazing tech like self-driving vehicles and so on and I brought John along this time because there's so much to see and uh, we need an extra hand. Of right? course. What are you most excited to see John? I'm really excited to see the Gravity Jetpack. That looks insane. I've seen some videos on TikTok and on Instagram. I think you're going to try and have a go later as well. I hope so. I'm trying. That's that's my goal. I know that it's uh, it's one of those things. It's very uh, futuristic, yeah. and I don't have. I don't know if they have many of them as well. So it's all about. Uh, we're just going to try yeah. and see see how that goes. But yeah, should we go? Should we go check it out? Let's jump inside the future, lad. Yeah, let's go. So first up, I've stopped at Nourished, and the reason why that is is because we have 3D printed food, 3D printed products and so on, but these guys, what they're doing is 3D printed vitamins. And the way it works is you'd go on the website, you'd fill in this quiz where they find out about your, your lifestyle, uh, your fitness, and all your needs, that kind of stuff, and then they'll create a seven layer vitamin tablet like this. It looks a bit like a tablet, but it's more of a gum. And uh, with that, you can then order it in seven stacks, and then you can have that sent to your house, and uh, this will keep you healthy and well. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, so uh, this is a typical package that you'd get. Personalized just for me. And it looks a bit like this. Like, they do them for kids as well, so there's kids version as well. But, yeah. How does it taste? Pretty good? All right, this is addictive. <laughs> <laughs> it, tastes, I want one. it tastes so nice. So this has probably got like zinc, vitamin B, all the essentials that I need to keep my knees oiled up as I'm getting older. <laughs> now here we are at Gravity Industries booth where they're showing off the history of their jet suits that were created by Richard Browning, their founder and creator. And at Future Labs at Goodwood this year, they're showing off their first ever fully electric jet suit, which is crazy. It actually it puts out enough power to power a whole house, which is, which is just insane, but they can't fly for a lot of time. So you've got maybe a couple of seconds off the ground. These are all the suits they've made so far. Now the fully electric version is twice the weight of the one that uses fuel. It weighs 60 kilograms. So that's like having a, a grown person on your back. And it has 3D printed parts on it as well. It's a really, really interesting piece of technology. And it's really at the cutting edge of what's possible with flying jet suits using electric power. Next up we have Airbus and they are designing this with the European Space Agency for them and this is the Sample Fetch Rover and uh, it's designed to basically pick up samples from the surface of Mars. On landing on a red planet in 2028, the rover will travel an average of 200 meters a day, covering 15 kilometers over a period of six months to find and pick up samples. It will collect up to 36 tubes, which it will then transfer back to Mars, yeah, a sent yeah, vehicle yeah. to return to Earth. Here we are with Trigger, which combines the best of electric and two-wheel mobility. It has a variable geometry suspension, which can expand and contract on the road for mobility while it's moving. Now this is all about last mile travel. So this is built for autonomous driving and autonomous roads in mind, which are gonna come down in the future ahead. In maneuvering mode, the width of the vehicle chassis is just about 86 centimeters with a maximum speed of 22 miles per hour. While in cruising mode, the width can expand up to 148 centimeters with a maximum speed of 56 miles per hour. The vehicle design features two kilowatt BLDC motors, proprietary directional steering, and lateral stabilization. This counteracts centrifugal force when the vehicle automatically leans up to 20 degrees into corners. The replaceable battery system features four 3.5 kilowatt scooter batteries, allowing for a range of up to 85 miles. Uh, so next we have Pal-V, uh, which is a personal airland vehicle. 
personal airland vehicle and uh, it's a car, it's a flying car and what I love about this is you can retract it one minute and drive it like a car. It will do 0 to 16 under 10 seconds. Under 9 seconds. Under 9 seconds, yeah. uh, which is pretty much enough for you to get from A to B. You can fly from London all the way to Paris or Amsterdam, which is what, 300 miles? It's about 300 mile range. And the cool thing is when you touch down, you can go to a petrol station, fill right. up with normal petrol okay. and then just drive home. And I spoke to the guys earlier as well, you'd need a driver's license and a, a PPL, so private pilot license. So that's the only downside for me. So if I, even if I bought this, I won't be able to fly it unless I get my license. So that would be a bit tricky. For me, this is what Future Lab is all about. Looking into the future of what, you know, automobility is going to be about, which is you've got a two-in-one, like, product here. You've got flight, a convertible you've got car. A convertible car. That can fly. That's amazing. It's and crazy. it's got a decent speed as well. What, what's the top speed? It's 100 miles per hour uh, top speed in drive mode. Okay. And it only takes 10 minutes to go from flying to, to driving. To be a car. Which is crazy. Honestly, I'm not even going to ask how much this is, but if I put this on my driveway, it'll be interesting to see what the neighbors think about this, right? And I love the color as well, because it, it was invented in the Netherlands. So that's why it's that bright orange color. And it can get you from Amsterdam to London with yeah. a 300 mile range. So that's that's amazing. Tell you what though, I'm distracted by right now by Boston Dynamics. This is uh, the robotic dog oh doing a little dance behind Kill us it right with now. Fire. Look at it, look at it. How cool is that? Let's get, I hate them. Let's get closer. So I believe this is being remote controlled by a guy over there. So he's not a autonomous, he's not doing everything by itself. This is a robot dog. This is this is interesting, this man. This is a dog. <laughs> this is the future. This, this is, is what is Future Lab dog. is all about. <laughs> you ready? Oh, come on then. Let's go. Boom. So that's it for Future Lab at Goodwood Festival of Speed 2021. It's been amazing being here. We've had such an amazing time. We've seen flying cars, jetpack, you name it. There's so much more to see as well that we didn't even include in this video. Uh, but ultimately, what's been your favourite one? For me, it's just been the variety of tech on show, like all the futuristic stuff in one place. I just think it's something that you have to come and check out for me. Absolutely. It's really and, cool. And guys, if you're here this week uh, or over the weekend, make sure you check out Future Lab and enjoy yourself. There's so much to see. The future is bright and the future is Future Lab. Look at this orange over there. <laughs> Thanks for watching.